Hello and welcome! Today we have something really special to unbox and share with you. We're unveiling the dark and brutal world of the Chronicles of Hate Volume 2. Andrew will give us a brief description of everything that's included in this long-awaited package. We'll also compare the new miniature models with the Hate board game models. Hey there! It seemed like it took forever to arrive at our doorstep, but today's hate date. We'll finally be able to have a glimpse at the extra models, a huge mounted tyrant and a mounted Rashnar mercenary, as well as two figurines cards, special rules, and the Chronicles of Hate Tyrant Edition hardcover comic books. Look at that beauty! The two books come in an amazing solid sleeve. They are very heavy and promise to be printed on quality paper. The miniature model box is also exceptionally well designed. It's a real collector's case. Let's unwrap the books first. As you can see, one of the books is damaged on the binding. What's most frustrating is that the packaging itself was undamaged, indicating the book was damaged even before it was wrapped. This lack of quality control is disappointing. At the price of these products, receiving a book in this condition is unacceptable. We'll follow up and let you know the response we receive from Cool Mini or not regarding customer service in a future video. All right, let's continue. The synopsis invites us to dive into the world of brutality that is the universe of hate. Once again, this sleeve is fabulous. It is soft to the touch, and the letters of the word hate are glossy, creating a three-dimensional effect. The Chronicles of Hate books were illustrated by Adrian Smith, a multifaceted talent who not only illustrated but also wrote The Chronicles, assisted by Ricardo Pinto. Eric Kelly joined them and contributed to the script of the third part of the series. The lettering was done by Antonio Esposito, and the graphic design was realized by Matteo Brambilla. Publishing was overseen by David Preti. Immersing readers in a post-apocalyptic panorama, the Chronicles of Hate paints a vivid narrative of diverse tribes grappling for existence amidst the remnants of civilization. Smith's artistry breathes life into this unforgiving terrain, infusing it with meticulous details and vibrant hues that capture the imagination. While some may say The Chronicles of Hate stands as a pinnacle of Smith's work, his artistic prowess transcends boundaries, extending to tabletop games, video games, and various other graphic novels. Across these mediums, Smith melds elements of fantasy and darkness, captivating audiences with his unique aesthetic. Through his evocative illustrations, Smith beckons readers into realms where fantasy intertwines with desolation, leaving an indelible mark upon those who dare to explore. In the realm of illustration, Adrian Smith emerges as a master storyteller, his work resonating with admirers drawn to the intricate fusion of fantasy and darkness that defines his signature style. Let's now briefly explore the third volume of the series. The second book contains new material, while the first book contains volume one and two of the Chronicles. As you can see, the illustrations are just as captivating and intense as we've come to expect from Adrian Smith's work. Flipping through the pages, you're immediately drawn into this post-apocalyptic world filled with stunning artwork and a gripping narrative. The attention to detail in both the illustrations and the storytelling truly brings this world to life. We then get a collection of eight illustrated short stories depicting the main clans featured in the hate board game. Some of these full-page illustrations are beautifully rendered in color, enhancing the visual experience of the collection.
Overall, the Chronicles of Hate books offer a gripping narrative set in a post-apocalyptic world. The collaboration of talented individuals ensures a visually stunning experience with captivating illustrations and storytelling. It's a fabulous collector's item. Alongside the books, we also have two fantastic miniature models. They come in a splendid rigid cardboard box with the same design and quality as the hate board game. The models come with their special rules to integrate them into the game. They also have their stats card. Just look at the intricate designs and the quality of the sculpting. Each model perfectly captures the essence of the characters and creatures from the Chronicles of Hate. We first have Rashnar the Mercenary. This intricately detailed model was digitally sculpted by Thierry Masson. The other miniature is a tyrant mounted on a huge charging bull. This impressive model was sculpted by David Camarasa. The level of detail on these models is absolutely amazing from the facial expressions to the weapons and armor. Whether you're a collector, a fan of the series, or a miniature hobbyist, this set is sure to impress. The Chronicles of Hate Volume 2 brings together stunning artwork, engaging storytelling, and high-quality miniatures, making it a must-have for any enthusiast. And there you have it, my friends. That wraps up our unboxing of The Chronicles of Hate Volume 2. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content like this. We'll end the video with some pictures to compare the sizes of the new models with the other models in the hate board game. Comparing the on foot and mounted version, Rashnar is much more imposing from the top of his monstrous mount. This is also true for the tyrant. This bull is simply massive. What a formidable and impressive model. Here stand our two antagonists, poised for an epic showdown of colossal proportions. And here is our mounted tyrant, compared to the twins from the Mother Prophecy box set. Two titans shaking the battlegrounds. We hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Until next time, happy gaming and take care.